Hello, and welcome, True Art Believers. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday. Today is Sunday, January 7th, and it is Vlog 36. So today we're going to be working on, we're just going to be drawing some hands here. Uh, already, as you can see, there's a lot of very, very scratchy work here. Not my best, I will give you that. It's it's um, it's not the best. Um, I I envy. I don't know about envy. That's uh, um, I don't know. That's a strong word, but I I definitely look up to the artists that are able to like. They're all they're they're able to do like one and done it where they do like make one mark and it's just like perfect. You know, this is like perfect. The, when they make a mark, it's that was the mark that they intended intended to do, and it is absolutely breathtaking. I um, I've had moments of that where I make a mark, and you're like, "Whoa, where'd this come out? Where'd this come from? This is amazing. This came out of nowhere. Who who is who has blessed my hand? And where have you been all my life? You know? And I'll make a mark, and it's like just like magic one mark and you make the most beautiful like breathtaking mark that expresses that form you know and i i like this is amazing and then there'll be days where you're, you're just you're 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 making marks left and right it's like what is this garbage that i'm doing this is this is awful this is the worst drawing experience of my life this is the worst worst spirit experience of my life why do you even bother Go home, go to bed, put your put your head under your pillow and go scream because that's what you should be doing. Screaming under the weight of your pillowcase. You know? Right? And that's what it's 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 like today. It's like every like I'm just like scratchy. Things aren't in the right place. Um and sometimes that's what happens. Right for me personally, I, I'm drawn from George Bridgman's Constructed Anatomy book, and sometimes when I'm seeing, like I see it and I try to draw it, and I see it and I try to draw it, and it, it's just not the translation is not there. And what I mean by that is like I am not understanding at this point what what forms the artist is seeing that I'm not that that they're making their their image illustrations or drawings from. So for this case, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing what he's drawing and I'm not, I'm not drawing them precisely enough, or I don't understand the, the forms and structures that he's laying before me, you know, like I see them, but I, I just don't, I can't grasp them at the moment, you know, and that's, that, that happens like something slight the form slightly off here or there there is something there is uh some some disconnect right and that's fine right it, 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 when you're drawing it, or with it, anything that you do you you got to you got to have like a little bit of uh humbleness grace and 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 not not take your your work so seriously cuz you're going to have those days and you're going to notice in, in my vlog that I, I'm going to have a ton of those days. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have so many, I'm going to have so many of those days. I'm going to have more days, more of those days than those days that I was talking about where I, I make a mark and it's like, oh my gosh, this is, this is a mark from God. This is beauty in all, for all it's worth. This is beautiful, you know? Um, it's going to be like, this is, this is not good. This is uh, almost, this is borderline terrible, you know, and that's okay. I'm, I'm used to it. Uh, I've been known, I've, uh, I've talked about this in many, many a times where, um, I am an incredibly slow learner. It takes me, I think, I believe this. I really do. You know, I think I, it takes me a lot longer to learn something than the average person. I just feel like it. it just feels like it, you know? It just really does. Uh in my opinion. 
So that's why I have to do like a lot of volume. Like I think I have to do more volume than the average person. And it's hard to tell because I don't, I don't have a gauge. I don't have a proper gauge. It's not like I'm able to look at all the piles of drawings and papers and sketchbooks that other artists done. Maybe, maybe, uh, 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 maybe I'm right on, maybe I'm right, right on the curve. Maybe I'm right there, right? Maybe I, I, uh, I, it takes me just as long as the average, the other person. Um, but it's not like I'm going to other artists, artists studios and seeing their, 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 um, uh, their work, how many hours they're spending on their work. So it's hard to tell. Um, I just, it just feels for me like I have to do a, a little bit more than, um, other people. And I'm basing it off of my experience. Uh, I remember when I was in college and there was this one student, man, he was amazing. Gosh, darn. He was so good. He was so darn good. Darn good. He was so really, he was ridiculously good. Oh my gosh. It, he was like what I aspired to be. He would make a mark and he would make this, this just beautiful, well orchestrated drawings. It was always so clean. It was always so clean. Um, um on the other on another note though, I think he had, he admired my my very energetic and very scratchy work because I think he could he couldn't do it. You know, I don't know if he could do it because it was it was a uh, uh, beyond his area of control. Like so on one regard, I, I really appreciated his like just pristine work, just beautiful. It was just beautiful. And then I think on the other side, I think he appreciated uh, uh, seeing a lot of the the structure and thought processes going into my work. So, you know, there's, there's uh, positives and negatives to both. But I remember when I was in, in college and I was seeing this guy, I was like, my gosh, this guy, he is... He is, uh, the mountain. He is the, uh, the, uh, he was the, the, uh, the, uh, the benchmark where the, you, you as an artist in your class would strive to be, you know? And I think I, I talk, I talk, I would talk about this in my, in my classes when I teach cl art. I was tell, I would say, Hey, listen, find it, find one of your, an artist that is, that you, uh, appreciate in your class and, and kind of like uh, compete with them a little bit, compete with her, him or her, you know, doesn't matter. Uh, and, and compete with the other artists and, and, and like, you know, and then see where it takes you. It's not a bad thing to have a little bit of competition, have a little bit of a competitive, competitive nature in your, in your art. You know, that's what makes you better sometimes, you know, you're not, you can't always just get better by doing like by, uh, drawing in a vacuum. You, you have to have some sort of benchmark to work from, you know? And so maybe, uh, find some artist and, and, and see if you, and, 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 and kind of like use them as a measure of, of, of skill and then try to, um, get up to their level. That's not a bad thing. You know, um, I've done it and I'm pretty sure like all the other artists that you've seen had that you see, you have seen that are really, really good. They themselves have practiced from the masters. They have copied other artists that they aspire to be like. And, you know, it's, it's just, it's just a way to improve, to always kind of, um, look at other artists to aspire to be, um, anyways, that is it for the day. I got to uh, um, wrap it up. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue working on this a little bit later, but I'm going to go over it with black pen and make it a little bit more defined. And then we're going to see what happens. I hope you enjoyed today's uh, video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful Sunday, friends.